Thank you, Blue Head Gasket. Well, today we're going to be showing you how to do the bottle test and then how to inspect your cylinder head for cracks. Alright, so you suspect you may have blown a head gasket. Is your engine putting out white smoke? Is it eating coolant? Do you have moisture, um, a grayish mayonnaise material on your oil fill cap, on your dipstick tube? Is there rust on your dipstick? These are all signs you may have blown a head gasket or cracked a cylinder head or both. Now there are two other, well there's three other places that coolant can be getting into your engine. Those are your pre-cooler, if your engine has a pre-cooler, most twin turbo engines do. But typically that just puts coolant into your intake, not necessarily pressurizes the cooling system, although it can when it's under higher boost. Next place is your air compressor can actually do this too, since it has high air pressure plus cooling um, coolant in it. However, you'll usually start getting a lot of coolant out of your air dryer, and the air compressor is not usually the cause. The third place, other than the head or the head gasket, is your liners themselves. Since they're part of the combustion housing and there's coolant around them, they can get small cracks or small pinholes caused by cavitation in them, which can give you these symptoms as well. But usually it's a head or a head gasket. So we're going to be talking about how to do the bottle test, or some people call it the bubble test. And it might sound arcane or, I don't know, complicated. It's really not. Anyone can do this test. You need virtually no mechanical ability. And I'll be showing you how to do that in this, okay? So we have a classic C13 here, twin turbo, KCB. And you have your overflow reservoir there. And what you do is you put a bottle, this is an old, I think it's a Powerade bottle or Gatorade, you fill it halfway with water, and while it's running, and as you can see tons of white smoke coming out of the exhaust, while it's running, um, you're going to check for bubbles coming out of it. Now that is a lot of bubbles, you shouldn't really see any bubbles at all. Now if you see bubbles that means pressure or air pressure is getting into your cooling system. Now to eliminate your air compressor is remove the hot hose line off of it. And if the bubbles really stop when you remove the line, you know that the air compressor was the cause. But like I said, not usually the air compressor. So, Alright, so you could see in there that there was a lot of bubbles getting in that bottle. Now, the cooling system should not get any bubbles in it. So if you're getting bubbles, you know that something's wrong. Now, depending on how bad the crack is, or if it's a head gasket, or whatever, you might not get bubbles when it's cold. You might have to rev it up. You might have to get it really hot, and I mean like, you know, 200 degrees. We're talking thermostat opening pressure, or temperature. Um, you know, usually it'll start bubbling the hotter it gets. So. If it's cold and you don't see any bubbles right away, that doesn't mean everything's okay. You need to let it warm up, uh, get up to operating temperature. Um, you know, now obviously you're gonna be doing this while the vehicle's stationary, so sometimes you have to put, you know, maybe cardboard in front of the radiator or something to get it to warm up. Um, you know, I've seen them not bubble till maybe 210 degrees, something like that. Um, and when they do that, you know, those are kind of hard to get. It's hard to get up to 210 degrees sitting still with no load on the engine, but um, you know sometimes you have to be inventive, bypass the fan, um, block off the radiator to get that engine temperature up there to test for those bubbles. And um, hopefully it was clear in that video that the so where your radiator cap goes on, there's the pressure line that comes off of there. You're running that line into your bottle, and that's where you're gonna pull bubbles from. And inspect that line too, make sure there's no cracks in it or slits. If there are, then they're going to leak and you're probably not going to see the bubbles in the bottle. They'll just leak out up top and you won't see them. So the pre-cooler sits right there. It's from the turbo, the high pressure turbo, into the CAC. So we have removed the pre-cooler. It was clean. There was no coolant in it. 
um, getting ready to pull the cylinder head. I've pulled the fan drive, pulled the low pressure turbo. Just kind of showing you what you need to do before prepping to pull the head. Um, you know, pull the intake tubing off. Um, the intake is dry, which is a good sign also that the pre-cooler was not bad. So we've removed the valve cover here, and what you're looking for when you pull the valve cover is that grayish mayonnaise material I was talking about. And you can see it accumulate right there on the sides of the head. Now normally it'll be all over the place depending on how long the engines ran. And when I pulled this valve cover, pretty much knew that the head yet or the head was bad because look at the valve cover. This stuff is everywhere. And this is not good at all. But keep a smile on your face because we're almost done. So the next thing we're going to do after pulling the head is inspect the head gasket. Now there's actually different parts to a head gasket. This little steel ring that seals the combustion chamber is called the fire ring. And this is the most critical portion of the head gasket. When you inspect the head gasket, you're looking at the fire ring. You're looking for damage to it, cracks, burned out marks. Um, if any of those are there, you know that the head gasket failed. So here's the cylinder head. This is the number two portion of the cylinder head. And so on C13s, there's a typical crack area. And that crack area is between the injector tip bore and one of the valves. And this is an exhaust valve. And that's the injector tip bore right in the middle. And you can see, hopefully, that there is a crack that goes between that in valve and injector bore. It's hard to make out. You can see it right there. Anyways, that's what you're looking for. Uh, head gasket was okay, but head was cracked, and this head's going to have to be replaced. All right, thank you.